Oh my gosh, look at the Sonic Ball on him! He used the Sonic Ball and that lasts for so long. Alrighty guys, hey yo, what is up guys? And this is gonna be the first on the channel. First time on the channel, if you guys look at the uh, thumbnail for this video actually, I put little designations in the corner now. This is actually the first time that I've ever done a recording of something that I am not actively PvPing on. I'm actually going to be spectating a match right now. And I think it might be interesting um, to see other people matchups. You know, a lot of people are looking at Crusader gear but, or Crusader matchups that I do. And I'm not the best PvPer in the world, guys. I'll be the first to admit that, you know. I want to show some other kind of content on the channel, so if you guys are watching my PvP content, um, I want to try to show some stuff off. So, guys, we're fighting a uh, Blade Dancer, which I have no experience on, and a Warden, something I have slight experience on. I know a little bit more about the sniper, but I'm seeing good initiation by the um, Blade Dancer right here. And as far as I see, they the Kali classes have a ton of AoEs, and in fact, they have really good initiations, but uh, Blade Dancer is brand new to me, so really awesome initiation right now get the juggle combo going and using the get up attack actually evades that extra combo damage right there oh my gosh look at the sonic ball on him he used the sonic ball and that lasts for so long i can imagine the damage is high on that too look at the tornado dance too that right there is a really good initiation by the way that launching guy that summons uh oh we're gonna see big explosions right here follow-up combos this is with the follow-up damage but damn aoe is something that this warden is gonna have trouble avoiding right now Really, the secret with the Wardens, you've got to keep your enemies at bay. If they get up to, onto you, you don't have a means of fighting back very well. Pretty much, you're going to lose that battle. Especially with this Blade Dancer class, which is just going nuts right here. We can see the perspective of the Warden. Getting uppercutted, Shoryuken! Oh my gosh, Andy shoots an arrow too. This guy's broken, man. He should be the guy that you're controlling, not the, not the colleague. Trying to get the evasive. Finally gets the ankle shot off. Is he going to get this big blast on him? He gets one tick on it. It's going to explode. It's going to interrupt him. Actually, it didn't even seem like it interrupted him that bad. Rapid shot used right there. Stun shot. Didn't get a follow-up on the double slash or double shot. And the Sonic Ball is in yet again. Now he's using the Tornado. This is one crazy class, guys. I If I was fighting this class, I wouldn't know what to do. I'd be completely honest with you. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do. And guys, that is going to be a win for the Blade Dancer. It doesn't seem like he's doing terribly high amounts of damage. You can see his HP is actually at 4%, so that was much closer than I was making it seem for the Blade Dancer. So, Gus Dementia too strunk, um, Senkosu, the Warden says. But it was a really close match, and he does not have show HP on, so that's going to be something that both players don't know the HP of their opponents, but that was a really close match regardless. The Warden is something that actually seems to dish out some serious damage such a 13 percent combo right there using the spin shot right there I, I need to make sure i get the names correct i'm just calling them whatever i remember them and i've been calling them incorrectly by the way so pretty low damage if you look at the percentage we got 13 percent on the uh, blade dancer combo onto the warden wardens are pretty squishy as it is and still not doing terribly high amounts of damage um so that's kind of the compensation is you got to deal with having huge aoe's but at the same time you don't take as much damage it seems because look at our blade dancer right now is at 62 percent so he's only taking a few hits and the rapid shot comes in doesn't get the follow-up damage though and then he actually gets behind him starts initiation of his own sniper's going to be oh excuse me warden's going to be trying to uh, increase the distance yet again actually getting the debuff off and guys that is that is a one minute long debuff you do not want to get caught with that just does extra damage for no reason so just something you want to try to avoid at all costs if you can all right we got the the lotus i think that's called lotus flower shot or something i'm not sure but look at the aoe guys the setup on that is just incredible you can see 12 percent hp on the blade dancer you think you think this class uh would be a little bit more tanky since they seem to be more melee focused since they got to get into range but Nice Sonic Ball. Let's look at the damage on the Sonic Ball. About 1% a hit, so not bad. And the Tornado is in. Tornado is in. Significant damage into Sonic Ball combo. Not hitting with the summons right there. The little cute ghost summons. Alright. Warden is trying to follow back with some more Rapid Shot. Trying to increase the distance yet again. And gets a Magic Shot on him. Or a Tumbling Shot, I think that's called. So, nice hit. Tumbling Shot is actually much more um, efficient of an evasive i think personally if you can hit with the tumbling shot it'll do a massive or you know a stagger attack on the on the opponent it usually has some pretty high super armor break and it also increases the distance uh, from your character i do have a little bit of experience with the archer classes so that's just something that 
I feel like, is not used a lot. I know a lot of people like using the one where you jump into the air, that evasive shot. I like tumbling shots, though, so I think it's pretty interesting. Nice uh, drill. And trying to just rush down the initiations right now. I think that's an evasive burn by the warden right now. So he's going to be in trouble, actually. I think he's already used both of them. AE. Okay, there's both of them. Guaranteed, he does not have any evasive. So if the Blade Dancer can get another initiation, it's going to be lights out for the warden right now. And he uses another, just going head first into it, trying to use some drill kicks and stuff. Uses the get up attack to get up and uses the Sonic Ball. And there's an evasive use right there. Gets reinitiated on. That's something that I feel like you should just tank the damage on, honestly, because if. If the duration is that long, you don't want to get reinitiated on just like what just happened right now. And we can see Tempest took only about 50% damage with those combos. So I got to admit, guys, um, even though I can admit that it seems like Kali has the upper hand in terms of initiations and big AoEs, I don't think their damage is comparable. I think this Warden's damage is just out of this world right now in comparison. I was only hit with a few skills and still the, the match is really close right now. Getting another Drill Sword in. Ooh, get, hit him with the double shot right there. One of my favorite skills on the sniper. It's the simple skills, honestly, that I like. Getting another tornado in. It just feels like a free damage skill right there. Sonic Ball, yet again. Oh my god! The drill into the wall, too. Okay, arrow rain. Or arrow. Uh, that's not arrow rain. Arrow rain's another skill. Excuse me. He's gonna get exploded on. I don't know if... Okay, he did, actually didn't get hit from that, so... Interesting. Use, I think that's an evasive usage right there, the ghost. So, using another drill, trying to get the initiation, just gets evaded the entire time. And now he's actually behind him using the... Uh oh Hit him with another debuff, too. So, hit him with a hard-hitting skill, 2%, and it was such a close match. Yes, it yet again, guys. These matches, you don't understand how close they are. Was living on 2.5k HP, seriously. So, both of these guys are really low um, in their matches, so I, I really enjoy that. I believe I can even go into free mode, but don't really enjoy this mode too much. Uh, just because I kind of don't get the view. It's like I, I'm fighting in the PvP match, like I'm standing right next to him. But there you can see the initiation. Getting a launch onto him, he has to burn that evasive, I think. And actually using that AoE right there. Using the drills again. He is doing a really good job, the warden, to keeping his distance right now. There's the tumbling shot uh, right there. You can see the distance covered on the tumbling shot. It's just like, since you have such a low uh, cooldown on tumble anyway, you might as well use it just to cover that distance. People like using that one instead more, so. It's safer, but I think not as much distance covered. To getting hit with a tornado, guys. Not a good move to be in close range, because then it's going to follow up with the Sonic Ball, and you can't evasive this, because you're probably going to get caught again. And I think that's something he realized right there. He's like, I'm not going to evasive it till the very end of that attack. Uh-oh. Minor Sonic Ball right there. What an awesome combo when you summon that guy. Look at that, like, Anubis spawn. Uh-oh. Little cute ghost spins. He's keeping him juggled into the air. Had to use an evasive right there. There's AEUs. I believe he still has his power tumble, though. Uh-oh. Got, actually got caught with the ankle shot right now. And, uh... Wow, he's actually hit with the rapid shot right there. That's that's a tough move to hit, but the EX version actually causes extra damage. This is gonna explode. Double damage right there. Double explosion. She didn't take too much damage right now, guys. So, Blade Dancer definitely has the edge in this match uh, in terms of damage. Gets another launch off, and I don't think he has a power tumble to evasive at the damage. Still getting comboed. And there you go, guys. There's a Blade Dancer win. So it is a tiebreaker round. It's gonna be the first time I do a tiebreaker song or music and editing shit without me PvPing. So anyway, guys, tiebreaker round. Let's do it. Alrighty, guys. I have seen both op the Opinus showed in, in both of these classes right now, the Blade Dancer as well as the Warden. Uh, just dishing out Warden, dishing out more high damage skills. The Blade Dancer having a lot of better initiations, in my opinion. Sonic Ball and things like that, but both of them kind of trading off hits right now. Oh, he tries to use the evasive shot right there. Using a circle shot and the double shot. Oh, he finally gets a debuff on him, so this is going to be dangerous. This lasts for an entire minute, so actually gets caught with the ankle shot. Direct. He actually misses the direct shot on that and actually gets the rapid shot off, though. Gets a stun shot. I would use the stun shot more often when the opponent is standing so you can actually get the effect of the stun. But uh, Sonic Ball is in. He actually evases it using the tumbling shot, but he still gets caught with the Sonic Ball. Has to use an evasive right there. So Look at the Blade Dancer using his drill techniques. 
using the minor sonic ball, jumping into the air with it, hitting a lot of times right now. Summoning the small ghost right now, so much, so much AoE, man. It'd be tough to avoid that. Even if you used the power tumble right there, you'd have to be careful not to get reinitiated on. Trying to use the rush down techniques. I'm, I'm liking the blade dancer, honestly, with the rush down technique. Just dodge! He just dodged the stun shot right there, jumped over it, just slightly hopped over it with that move right there, and just evaded that. I'm pretty sure that's just um, his, uh, his dash. And actually, I don't know. He's just getting caught with the double shot. He's actually getting pinned to the ground. Actually goes with a hard initiation into Tornado. Actually doesn't connect with it. And he's actually caught into the ankle shot, guys. This is a close match. 38%, 42. Really good HP right now on both of these guys. Tries to get initiation. Double explosion right there. And they're both on the ground yet again. Such a close match. Such a close match. Warden tries to evasive use as a circle shot. Now rapid fire. And he actually kills him with the damage on that rapid fire guy. The rapid fire damage is so sick, and remember that is an EX skill. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, there was a match against a warden and a blade dancer. Please leave a comment below if you want to see more kind of content like this without me PvPing. I really like doing this kind of stuff, guys. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys oh, later.